Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? We've got some errands to do, so I thought I'd better do a a bit of a scrap run too and do kill two birds with one stone so we've got a fair bit on here i reckon probably close to three ton um i tried weighing it i come under a bit under three ton she looks a bit off ickly pickly there but um it's pretty safe i've kicked it god knows what and yeah she's pretty safe but anyway um we'll go and do our errands i've got to go do a few things in town and that sort of thing so i thought i'd just take this as well and we'll get it all put through and i know where we're going after this straight to the scrapyard hell yeah See how much we weigh. That ass off here, bro. I don't want to weigh my weight. Huh? <laughs> I know I weigh about 78 kilos, but I don't want my fat ass on there. Ah, uh, what's your name? Ah, uh, winter, mate. What are we? Oh, yeah, 5.52. Just a bit of a hack for when you're doing your straps. What, what I've got here is a bit of car tube. Holds the end in. Just strap it around that. Once you've got it tied up like you normally do, feed it in through the hole, tie it up, home and hose. Just one little thing I learnt myself. Yeah, I've got a good hook affair here for getting the drums off. I'll just stick that in there. Unload some of this stuff. As far as I know, they want it back in there. Not sure. But anyway, we're going to get this off. Best way I know. Let it fall off. <laughs> yeah, man. Can't even pick that up. So heavy. That'll do. One at a time, 64 kilos in there. They've changed things around. Anyway, compressor there to take that. He's dropping off drums. Whatever else over there. Take two at a time. Most of the other stuff it won't be. Lift him off, I'll get him to fork it off. Yeah, I could have put it over there. But they got an excavator. That's handy. Weighing things before you come. You know what you're up for. We're in a good windfall today. They asked for the prices. He give me the prices. I've got it now. With the waist levy and without the waist levy. So she's pretty good. Prices have gone up. It's a good windfall for the day. Sweet. Bear with the wind, everyone. What else could I scrap out of here? Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna have fun here. 
Could have fun. Hey, man, bring him back. You pay double. Wish. We all wish. Bit of rusty gold here. Chucked it up there. Gotta sort him out anyway. At least you got a concrete slab here now. Not just a piece of dirt. Right. What else can I offload? That stuff. Fair old walk. My park's fair away away so I can put it on. Makes it easy for him. See he's gonna bring my walk down. Gonna have to drag that IBC pot off anyway. So he's gonna need some room. Leave that there, lift that off. I'm not lifting them out. Lift them out though. Swing that around. That to there. Chain him up. Attacking me. Back there, big floor jack, aluminium rim even. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Gotta get these out first. Here you got another truck coming, mate. Deal with him. I'm fine. With him. You need another bloke here. Down the wrong way, get right around. Some of them don't know. I learned that the first time I come here, you had to go right around. That way, you're coming this way when you're getting off the bridge, you don't have to, do it. Don't have to back back at all. Instead of going up there, and yeah, some of them just don't know. But anyway, that's the way it is. I'll let him fork that off, put the fork straight in there. He can offload that. I've got the hooks for that. Yep. Oh, the old push bike can come off. Barbecues. Yeah, no, nah, we're not going over that way. Go this way with this. Yeah, we'll get the exercise bike off. Maybe. Yeah, no problems. Exercise machine. Yeah. Don't need one of these. Not doing scrap metal anyway. Might have a put, but hey, you don't need to worry about it. <laughs> Steel rims on this. I should have took that stand off, that'll we? Never mind. Yeah, where's he gonna go? Stay there. Hold on, you want to take that one first? Yeah, sorry. Oh, you're right, I don't know where you're going. You look lost. How are you doing, Ip? Okay. Get the escalator out, mate. Out of 
of this stuff's hand stuff anyway. Majority of it is anyway. I'm not one for just dropping it off the trail, I like it at the landfill. I want to put it in the pile. It's all scrap metal, no matter what it is. Even if it's the little stuff. Full heads up. We've got a um, another pickup soon. Street curb, our yearly pickup out of town. Been looking up on the web, and I've got two that I may may go to find the wind. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that one. And then the other bit of videos. Got this unloaded. Oh, struth. Oh, that's wedged in there. That is wedged in there. It shook itself down. There we go. Got half it off. Squash those. It's good when you got machinery. I was told I had to cut them and blah blah blah. No, I've got a heavy back out, just run over them. <laughs> I had fun. I don't mind doing this stuff. It's just like my cans, I love doing my cans too. Uh, it's all money. Money in the bank. If you can get out and do it, by all means, try it. If you can't try it, ask someone to help you. You try it. Get a couple of years together. Get out. Earn a quid. Try to earn a quid. Or a bit of, a bit of pocket money on the side. You know, I keep a high spirit. High spirits go well. What I mean by high spirit, I look at the positive side of it. Getting out, keeping fit, it's not just the money side of it. No. But when you do scrap, make sure you're clean. If you find a if you do find a place that's dirty, clean up after you. you now make sure that you're gonna be leaving it clean than what you found it. Dragged it out the back. This is what I'm talking about small stuff. Now, uh, wire mesh things like this, they um, don't weigh much, but still steel. That's what I look at. Four leads up. Way, but it's not okay that's all I can do for now maybe oh we'll just keep going we'll just keep going that was a Harvey Norman pick up that one all this inside this, all what's inside that was a Harvey Norman pickup. This was the truck depot. So, yeah, this was a roadside bit of steel left over. It's got a fair bit of weight in it, too. We just got to go back and get weighed. What else can I take off? Hmm. Mm. Yeah, we can pull that out now. That's all 
derecha. Swing set that I picked up. Fella rang me up and said, Oh, would you like this? He was from an Asian country or somewhere like that. And around our town there. He didn't ring me back for a couple of months. He had some family issues, stuff like that. But um, he eventually rang me back. I'm going to leave that there. Right, just got to wait for him now. Those two will come off. That'll be hopefully forklift. Hopefully. That's going to be a fork job. Fork, 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 fork. Fork it all off. Hey, hey. I wonder if we do the trailer first. Spear it in there. Take them off. There's two sets of chairs there. I've got them wired together with wire. You should be able to fit the fork right through. Uh, yeah, that's it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're doing well. Up you go. You got the whole lot. Look at that. Easy. I'll make it easy. <laughs> Get it in the hole. Put it in the hole. That one off. She's on, mate. Straight up. I'm out of your road. I don't get our no HNSE. <laughs> That makes life easy, doesn't it? it does. <laughs> hey, I come prepared, you gotta! I'm glad I wasn't under it. <laughs> Me too. Next one. Come in a bit more. Keep coming, keep coming. We'll make sure it don't slide off this side. Keep going. That'll do. She's right on. I'm out of your road. That's 245 kilos there. Eh? Brake pads. How are you going to do the IBC pot? You're going to pour it in or? Um, I haven't pulled that far ahead yet. All right. So I don't want to see you do double work, put it here and then have to put it in there. They are, they have got a fair bit of weight in them too. Yep. I'm off. There you are. Got another heavy one here, just in the bottom. Just do the same as what you've done. Then we'll go to those ones on the U with that. Could have come there. Oh, okay. Make it easy for yourself, bro. Yeah, I know you got a big. You, you got to have the safety, though. That's the thing. Oh yeah, I'm out of your road. Up you go. Sort of thing you need, isn't it?
There you are. Go to the ute. Coming. Hold oh, there, just gotta find the hole. That's the worst part of it. Yeah, I see that one, I'm trying to find the other one. I found it. That's in there. Central, so they weren't tipping over, mate. You're all, no, you're good. I'm waiting for you. You're the operator, not me. <laughs> I don't know when you're going to put it down or put it up. There you go. your road first before you move I don't want that bloody falling on me <laughs> you got it now they make good use of the L44 don't they yeah. especially if you can fill them I get plenty of them. <laughs> Where you go? Yeah, I'm out of the road. Just make sure the chain don't catch it and tip it over for you. Oh, I need a heavy hitter. One of the holes. I might have to just put it through that one. I can't see the other one. Just give that a go if you can. Yeah, slow as. Just hope it don't tip it. Pull out of there. That's all. I'll hop out of the road. Yep. Take it. It's leaning this way, so. It might want to topple out and overbalance. Yeah, that's going to overbalance. Bugger. Ah. Uh, just release a bit of pressure back down. It'll lean there. Come down. I'll see if I can find the hole now. Straight down. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Come down. Yeah, keep coming down. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, there's the hole. There somewhere. Underneath. 
<laughs> Just pure luck. Right. Keep going. Oop, yeah, here. You're gonna have to go back up. Yeah, down. Sit. All right, we're finished for that, aren't we? That's all the drums, isn't it? All right, there. up. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. There you go. I'll have to hit that off. Yeah, sweet. Yep, down you go. Go down more, I'll boot it off. That old hands ain't strong enough. There you go. Right, so what do you want to do next? Well, well I'll just have to tip them. All our bins are full. Yeah, at the yeah. Moment. You do what you got to do, eh? Yeah. You know, if you want to grab this one, we can pull that out this way. Or I, I'm better off pulling forward for you to do that, aren't I? To give you room here. Yeah. Um, and I've got a strap I can put that, put it onto that, so we can drag it out and then you can fork it out. Uh, okay, yep, right, I'll do that, yep. Just tell me where you want to. Oh, well, I'm going to hook it around the top of your fork here. Yep. Right. Um, you've got enough room, haven't you? Yeah. Sure. You should have enough room without me moving. I can't get that in there. Go through there. Through there. Okay, coming. Straight in. That'll do ya. I've got to work this out myself. Unfortunately. Might be able to pick up the forks and try and drain it. We've done it before. Didn't work. Yeah, you got a 500, uh, 488 kilos in that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm overweight. I always in when I come in. Oh shit, I done that wrong, didn't I? Right now. Mate, he's only pulling on one corner. Pull it out as far as you can. It's got um, stuff underneath it too. Uh, yep. So you'll probably drag it all out. Handbrake's on, you're good. Keep going. Yeah. Right, well, undo that. Yeah, go forward a little bit. That's it. I'll undo it. Yeah, you're undone. You can straighten yourself out, whatever. That one. That's all we should need for that. What we've had to do before, previously, previous videos, drag her out. Hopefully, he's got the rest.
go down with fork more and tilt it back if you can or is that as far back as you can tilt it yeah go down 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 oh don't worry about the chain i'm gonna rebuild that tailboard anyway that's it no you gotta go yeah that's it push him in through see if he can lift up and come back he's pushing the whole bit he's gonna want to do this he's gonna want to tilt what if you come from this angle because it's a wide area That way you can push that corner around. So if you push this corner around, you'll be able to come into there a bit better. Up. Sit, go in. Push, 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 push. Now yeah, you got it. You'll get in there, no problems. Stick it. Ah, oh, okay, what, you got no room back there? <laughs> Just got to give it more stick, mate. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> ah, hydrostatic. Turn your fork, that's the go. Alright, go in there, go in there. Up a bit. Yeah, what you're doing is you're pushing the drum that's underneath. I've got a 44 gallon drum flattened out underneath it. Oh, okay. So you're going to have to push and force it in. Yep. That's it, keep going. Lift it up. You'll get a bit of it. Keep going up. Now drag it back. Try to. Ah, you've gone crooked again. Uh, <laughs> Bugger. Uh, let me just weigh this guy in. Yeah, you do that. Because the other way we can, buddy, put the hook back on it and lift it straight off. Make life easy for him. I made it hard, I suppose. <laughs> putting stuff underneath, putting it where I can. Fill in the void, could say. Fill in the void. I reckon I could winch that on. If he goes down, yeah, we'll see what he does. See if you can side shift the thing. Why you got it in the air? Side shift it this way. Uh, that's all I want. Maxed out. Oh, you're kidding? Yeah. Uh -huh. You went a bit far. Give it some stick. Try not to turn your wheel too much. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. You're pushing the whole thing square now. I'm just wondering if you get one fork in there, pretty close to center. Yep. That side fork, so it's pretty close, and then just lift it out. It might topple a little bit. Yeah, okay. I'll try that. You can try it. That way you can get above that drum and I can lift it out. Lift that drum out. Go in there. Up. 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 Okay, straight in there. You'll go you're above the drum. Now side shift to the to the left. Straight in. Keep going in, keep going in, keep going in. Lift up as you're going. Lift up, lift up. Yeah, more, lift it up, push it in, that's it, now try and lift up from there. It, it will want to probably do this topple, but drag it out as you're coming this way. Uh, left hand down, not too much stick. 
Yeah, about there. Go down with your fork, go down with your fork as you're going. Keep coming, keep coming. Woo! Right, now you can get in there. Hang on, just hang on. That'll make life easy. You can get straight in there now. Stay there. Yeah, it should stay there. Is that better? Much better. <laughs> That's what I said. Work as a teammate. That's it. Down. Straight in there. Can you go down any further? Like angle down or? No, 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 no. The whole fork down. That's it. Now go in. Now tilt back. Tilt back, tilt back, tilt back. Oh, that's it. All right, just push her in. Should be able to lift it there. There you got it. Open holes. <laughs> I hope it holds. Those right those bars on the bottom are a bit rusty. <laughs> <laughs> It held. That's good. <laughs> Loving that. I can use that for my aluminium now. I didn't stack it too tight. Just set it there. I'll fix it up. That'll do. That way. Tilt it forward, tilt forward, that's it, up. No, 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 other way. Up with your fork. That's it. That yeah, tilt it, tilt it, rotate. Rotate to the right. That's it, straight in there. Straight in there. Up there. But you got other stuff on the other side. Keep going. You got it. He might be able to fork better. Might. Get him up the front. That way he can get in. He mightn't be ready for you. If you want to try that, you can. Yep. I don't know how you're going to go. Probably a fork there and there. I don't know. Wow. That's not with... You know, I, I did try to leave some pallets underneath, but she squashed down coming in. I don't know whether you get... Yeah, it slides, but it's got some bloody weight in it. Yeah, okay. you got about 200 kilos sitting there. <laughs> yeah, we slide onto the floor. You may. The two of us. Oh, I can unload it by hand, it don't matter. So what do you do with the drums? We've got a big three ton weight that would sit on the end of the Oh box. yeah, yeah, I know that. Crush them? Yeah, yeah. I'd run over them with this. <laughs> Use the excavator. <laughs> yeah, go as wide as you can. It's heavier this end than that end. Yep. Okay, so if you wanna, yeah. Gee, she goes wide enough. You might, no, the, your fork's not narrow. Yeah. That's a bugger. Keep going. 
Keep going. Just push that one in. Push it in. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa. Right. right now, I don't know how we're going to do this. See, so it's got some weight in it. You've got your end. I ain't got mine. Oh. It's toolbox off a trailer. Oh. Yeah, you'll get it there. I got enough. It's only that much left on the oh, fork. Okay, yep. So you'll lift that up there, no trouble. Yeah, you might be best to slide it off. I don't know how you'll go with that other stuff, like that big thing. That's a cut in half gas bottle. Yep. Um, and the rest I'll, I'll handle, hand it off. So that way you can handle with him. Yep. So I'll get this. Another load here, mate. Go and do him. Yep. Where you go, turn your fork off. I wish I'd go right around. See what he does. He's got it. He certainly got it. Ah, grab this. You can have all the dirt too. See we get paid a waste levy. Dirt's on. That's where it come from in the beginning. and get these three in one oh. <laughs> What else you got in here? Oh, you got a whole heap of crap in there, eh? Mose and God knows what. Where'd you pick this one up from? Actually, off at Watsall. Pity about the sawdust. <laughs> anyway, I'll get out of your road, bro. Oh, 
coins a bit bent, but now well. Don't know what to do with it, but anyway, looks good. <laughs> That'd help me out, I'll tell ya. Oh, there is a bit of car seat. Oh, an aluminium room there. Oh, yeah. Pay a lot for aluminium rims. Oh, he's still got stuff coming out. Maybe. Ah, he's empty. That's a load for me today. Don't mind. Take two pieces of time. Getting a bit pooped. Last but not least. I'm going to sit this on in print. Here we go. Got it now. All empty. I got my fat ass off there for you. Uh, you. <laughs> oh, you should like to take that home and then bring it back. All that alloy. What'd you get? Huh? Three ton. Yeah, oh, I was close. Yeah. See, my, my last one was 3.6. Yep, okay. So that's pretty good. There you go, there's that one. No worries. Thank you very much, Lee. No worries. I don't mind it when I can come home, sit down on the veranda here, have a cuppa, and enjoy my day out with the scrap run. But anyway, we got a total of $531.44. Now, we did have a waste levy, $110.96. I'm not too worried about that waste levy. We took in 2.92 ton. Wow, scrap prices are up today. Uh, but anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you wish to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming out. So till next time, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping out there, and stay safe. Till next time, cheerio.